Hi guys, today we are going to look into the topic called weld. To do one, click on weld in steel tab. Click on the option create weld between parts. Here, the part to weld to is the main part that is the beam and the part to be welded is the secondary part that is plated. Click both the parts and click on middle mouse button to create the weld. Here the red one is the main part and the yellow one is the secondary part. To control the weld in view, double click on the view properties. Click on display button. Now when we choose fast in the drop down box, weld will disappear only showing the mark. Likewise we can remove the weld mark by unmarking the checkboxes in model and in components. Now when we choose exact from the drop down and click on modify, only the weld appears without the marks. Now when we choose exact, both the weld and mark appears. Click modify to apply the changes. Thus we can control the weld in view. Now let us look into the weld to part option. Folded sheets are turned into SHS profile and the weld is created. Choose the weld, draw the line and click on middle mouse button to apply the weld. Now let us look into detail of creating how a polygon weld. To draw a polygon weld, choose weld then click on create polygon weld. Now choose the main part and the secondary part and click on the middle mouse button to create the points where the polygon weld to be applied. Now choose the points where the polygon needed and click on the middle mouse button to create the weld. Now let us look into detail of creating the preparation to the weld. Click on weld, prepare part for the welding polygons. Now click on the main part, preparation has to be taken and click on the points where the preparation need to be done. Click on the polygon and middle mouse button to create the preparation. There is one more method of creating the preparation. Click on the weld, click pre prepare weld to parts. Now select the main parts and the secondary parts to create a cut for the preparation. To convert a weld to a polygon weld, select the weld and choose weld and click on convert to polygon weld to convert the weld to a polygon weld. Now the weld has been converted. Moving on to the weld properties, double click on the weld to open the properties. All the common attributes or the marks that are available on the symbols are shown here. Refer a left top image for the symbol. You could choose any type of weld or the types that is required like shop weld or continuous weld or fillet weld or all around weld and choose from the drop down and click modify to apply the changes. Moving on to the weld, here the size of the welds like 6mm or 8mm, all the properties in the above line and below lines are filled. Now click on the link to link both the above line and below lines. When I change the values of above line like 10mm, it's going to be reflected on the below line. Now if I remove the link and type in the value of 40 and click on write options, here the, all the properties of the above lines are going to be copied to the below line. And if I click on left arrow, it's going to be vice versa. Click modify to apply the changes. Pause and refer the image for weld symbols. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for more videos.